Hello, welcome to Brandon Socket. Please like, share, comment, and don't forget to hit that big old red subscribe uh, subscribe button. Uh, in this video, we've got the mobile app up and running. It's time for me to go to bed, so says Fitbit. So we're gonna use the quick up button located at the top left to open up the DL scanner for the driver's license scanner. So I'm gonna click that. And if you see this icon in the upper right next to the save button, then you do have the DL scanner. If you don't, then you don't have it. So we're simply gonna click that button. Opens up the scanner. For the first time, it's gonna ask you to gain access to your camera. You're gonna take a picture of that big bar graph. You're then gonna take a picture, flip it over. And then it's gonna ask you wanna use it. And I'm gonna click the use button up here. It's then gonna ask you for if the address is correct and you're gonna click yes. Once you've hit yes to the information being correct or the address being correct, you'll see all the customer's information on the screen here. So you can add a mobile number, a home number, a work email, sorry, a work phone number or an email address. As you scroll further down, you'll see it defaults the new opportunity you're going to create to a demo status because the only reason we have their license is to go on a demo drive. You can click on the source to enter a source of fresh up, okay? You can enter the vehicle of interest. So here I typically go stock number or I can go uh, year, make, Toyota, and I'm just gonna go search. I can then search the inventory that doesn't exist on our demo site. So let's click on the Toyota and let's just delete that. Let's see if any comes up. I don't even know if we, there we go. Okay, I'll just use an Acura. So I'll click the Acura, Acura, and then I'm just gonna click save. So now I have a vehicle of interest. I won't do the trade in right now because that's a separate video on trading, uh, on scanning in trades, but you can scan your trade vehicle in. I just don't have a VIN in front of me, so I'll do that video later. Uh, at the bottom, you can click in the work notes box, and my favorite function is this microphone here at the bottom where we can click on it and talk. So let's see if it works for me here. Customer came in and looked at the Acura ILX sedan, wants to test drive it again on the weekend with his partner. And so it dictates to it. So customer came in and looked at the Acura ILX sedan and wants to test drive it again on the weekend. So perfect, hit save top right. And again, you need a contact point. So you need a number, an email, or a full address. And because we have a license, we've got a full address. But what it's saying now is, hey, heads up. We have another Brandon Alexander in the system. Are you sure it's not him? And if it is him, you would click that customer and, and go forward. If it's not, you could click ignore duplicate and save new customer. Hit save, so you select it and hit. That's essentially it. You would then go work the deal. You could make a phone call with the phone number, opt into text, or send an email. You can review your work notes here on this screen. Uh, add the marketing. So let's do that real quick because we're on it. I'm gonna click the menu key at the top right. Menu key top right. And I'm gonna go edit. And this is where I'm gonna click on marketing. And I'm going to select, uh, it was a refer, and I'd have the trade in, just sales checklist if you use it, so on and so forth. So, thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful, and we'll see you soon.